Hey, we're here for the next installment of the RoboCat 270 millimeter quad. We got the electronics all figured out last last video, and we're gonna start putting the electronics in the quad. And hopefully, in the in the next video, we can get to flying. So here we go. We're gonna mount some motors, and we're gonna use um, the kit. I have this this like bluish green. Uh, isolation rubber that I'll use for the flight controller so that it um, doesn't pick up the vibrations from the motor the motors here we go And get the motors locked down and then figure out how I'm going to route the wiring. I also put some uh, servo lead extenders so I can get the transmitter up onto the higher deck over here, which is right here. A bit. Right. I'm gonna route the wire down the down the arm. Hopefully, we can get away with very minimal um, zip ties. Not that I have anything against zip ties. I just I want to keep it as light as possible. But I also want it to be as safe as possible. This is the first quad I've ever had with self-tightening motors. So that'll be Pretty cool. You know what? I might be able to fit the speed controllers in better if I do them that way. Let's just keep on trucking and see what we get. Just try to fit this first. This, it's, oh yeah, the the XT sixty plug sits in this right here, and then we clamp it down. It's pretty cool because then no matter what happens, we're not ejecting, we're not ejecting any batteries or anything like that. We're not, we're not damaging it. the um, power distribution board. So, with this here, I'm thinking the wires, so we're going to bump this guy right up here, and then we're going to do, they're just not long enough to make it by themselves, and the, these are way too long, but 
they're what I have, so we use what we have. So we're going to do one. extra wire gets it really tight in here. There's not a very high ceiling in this compartment here for all these electronics, but we're going to do our best to get them in there. Three. say I'm not even going to bother with the adhesive. I'm just going to start trying to fit this in here. Oh, great. Well, better find out now that I got a bad solder joint than later. It's probably the most abuse these solders are going to get. I was using the green. This is a good kit of it's always good to have heat shrink. When you're doing stuff with electrical tape. It's it's sticky mess. It's to be a sticky mess, and you'll. Start adding electronics to this. Those little handy switches on that board are pretty much out of reach with this, but you know, I'll figure out another way to do it. Just leave the switches on, and it's not like if I'm going to be flying this thing, I'm going to be not using the lights or not using the camera. Like, what's the fun in that? But look at that, it's all nice and tight and snug in there. I'm going to do a power test to make sure I didn't cross anything. Oh, looks like it's working. Battery goes here. We have an almost done, almost flyable quad. Super excited! So then we got all this wire mess to deal with. And we want to make sure we put this in a place where it'll shut. Looks like it's right there, right in that cavity. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing, but I want to get the flight controller as close to center of the quad as possible. 
and it's got a lot of wiring mess to deal with. I'm just going to do it and hope for the best. That's the way to do it. I'm making sure the forward arrow, which you probably can't see, is right there going forward. Otherwise, everything is going to fly sideways better than anything else. You know, I could. Now I'm going to leave it in there because better that way. Beautiful. I'm going to put a little square of this. I don't want to block the. You know what? I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to make it all fit. For now. Let's pretend like this is this robot's, ro this kitty robot's nervous system right now. So there's a bar here. Right in the way of my wiring harness. You know what? I betcha I should be running it through here. last one is actually cramped clamped down in there so for now I can't route it that way go back and fix that another day so let's see what that does still done with the transmitter Put it on the back side so close so close on here. We can utilize this upper space, I think. So close. It's going to be one of those never ever open it situations. side screws in. I switched out the ones that it recommended. It had smaller ones for these longer ones so I can put it through without taking the whole side panel off. Oh boy. These wires worked out. Yes, I'm using a zip tie. Call me lazy. Okay, I gotta use two zip ties. At this point, it's Tail heavy. Careful not 
to scratch anything. And then, let's go get some props. Well, maybe not. We're going to power it on and do an arm te arming test and check the rotations of the props. This one's counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, clockwise. You're so close to flying. These props, they seem kind of flimsy for the amount of bulk this little guy has. But, I'm disarmed. So we got clockwise. up here. I'm going to make sure that my props aren't going to get in the way of the battery wires. personality. Let's cross our fingers that he makes the first flight. I don't have a transmitter handy, but we'll just stick the antenna in so it looks cute. Alright, well thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next time for the maiden flight of the RoboCat 270 millimeter quad.